What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to an updated version of everything my dogs have. So I did make a video like this in 2020 when we had just one golden and now a year later in 2021 we have two goldens. So I'm going to make an updated video on everything that they have. I'm going to try to keep this video organized so I'm going to break different things up into categories. So we're going to go over toys, grooming and hygiene supplies, food, walking stuff, bandanas, crates, custom pieces that we had made, cleaning supplies, medications, training stuff, travel equipment, and then a whole just etc others category. Now before I get into the video, spoiler alert, they have so much stuff. So get ready for this, grab some popcorn, get comfortable because this is gonna be a long one. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Rachel, this is Larcy. She is a year and a half old golden and we also have a golden retriever named Koba J who is six months old and her little sister. They both do have Instagrams, so if you would like, please go follow them there. Okay, so the first category we're gonna go over is grooming slash hygiene supplies. We have this, this, and this, all for bathing supplies, which honestly, I don't ever use any of these whenever I'm bathing them. I just use my hands to scrub for everything. And then this is the shampoo and conditioner that we use. This is also something that we have for bath time. They just kind of play with it while they're in the bath. Bath, so it's a good distraction for them. I have their nail clippers. I have a rake which is really great for them because they have a double coat. Then I just have a regular brush, two-sided brush, and then the comb which I use this thing literally all the time. Their little hair trimmers. This is great for cleaning out the hair around their paws. Speaking of paws, these are also the scissors that I use for around their paws or just to trim up their booty floof or around their privates. I also have this Dremel that I can use on their paws, but honestly, I've never used it before. Some ear wipes that I use. And then for their paws, I always use this Natural Dog Company paw soother or paw protection. I have one of each of those in the big version and then I also have a little version as well. This is what I used for Koba whenever she was super little and her paws were super little. And then I have licky mats which obviously aren't directly for grooming but whenever I am trimming their paws or giving them a bath or something that they don't totally love, filling up these licky mats, these lick pads, is a lifesaver to help distract them. And then their favorite thing, dental hygiene. So I I have two tubes of their toothpaste and then I also have their two toothbrushes. So this is Koba's toothbrush with the three sides to it. She's going to be moving up into the big ones as soon as she's done with this. And then this is Larcy's, the long toothbrush with like a tapered triangle shape and a small versus big end. These deodorizing wipes, these were really nice when the girls were super tiny. It's just nice for cleaning up their privates or if they get something on them but that's not quite enough to give them a full on bath. These are are just like baby wipes for dogs. This dental water additive, I just add it to their water a few times a week to keep up with fresh breath. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is all of their treats. So first one on the list, tip treats, little bones that say their name that you can get customized, organic, three ingredients. We love Pips treats. They get a Pips treat with every single breakfast that they have every day. Some peanut butter Kong filling. This is really, really great for their binkies. I love love, love filling up their binkies with this. It is a super great way to keep them occupied. I also have regular peanut butter as well, as long as it does not have xylitol in it, it is okay to give them peanut butter. I have some random little treats that I have gotten from just some recent orders that I have made. I have some bully sticks, which the girls absolutely love, but I have to be super careful with these because it freaks me out and I'm always so afraid that they are going to choke on them. Some Christmas treats that, Larcy had gotten just some candy canes and these are little cupcakes. Then we have these Naturals Charmant Treats, which we did not buy. They actually just came in a care package from a random company. And then as far as like dental shoes, we have Greenies. We have these Dental Life shoes. And then we also have these Orvet Dental Hygiene shoes. We have these Mini Bites, which are peanut butter flavor. We have these bigger ones that are crunchy that are peanut butter flavor. And then also these ones that are mixed berries. And then we have some Zooks treats. These we got for Koba's training class whenever she goes to school. So these are duck and these ones are salmon. And another super favorite is Chippin. We have all four of the Chippin formulas. We actually 
just went through a bag, so we haven't cracked open any of the new ones yet. But this is Smokehouse Barbecue. This is Superfood. This is Spirulina Dallies. And this one is the antioxidant one. The girls love these. These are super, super, super healthy out of all of these treats. This is one that I would recommend. Next, moving on to cleaning supplies. We have 1,080 poop bags in this box that we just ordered. We have a ton on our shelf where we take them in and out. I have a ton in my purse. I have them in my car. We have them in our truck. I have them in our backpacks. We have poop bags everywhere. Towels. We have so many towels. They have 10 of these towels that are just their towels, only used for them when they come in and out. We use these to wipe off their feet. Lint rollers. We have four lint rollers in the house. I have one in my car. I have one in my room at work. We have lint rollers everywhere because, uh, you know, dog hair. We always have a lot of this uh, pet odor eliminator for Breeze. Odor and stain remover for mistakes. And then whenever I am cleaning like the carpets and the couch, I have two different powders that I can use. One is Arm & Hammer and one is a plant base that smells like lemons. And then I also have their paw cleaners. So if it's yucky and muddy outside, whenever they come back in, I will clean their paws off with these paw cleaners. And then I have this big vacuum that I bought, which I would have never bought a vacuum this expensive if it was not for them. But because I have to vacuum every day, I wanted to get something that was nice and reliable. We also have a shampooer and this is the spot and stain remover that came with it. There's also one just for pets that you can buy. The little green giant, which is great for small little messes or dirty spots on the carpet. Another thing that I have for cleaning are these three bags that I use to put their plush toys in whenever they start to get dirty and I need to wash them just so that way nothing gets ruined or lost. Just zip them up, throw them in the wash on a gentle cycle. This is great for whenever they're teething and there's a bunch of blood on their toys. The next category that we're going to go over is travel. So what we take whenever we are traveling, if we're going for a walk, we're going for a night somewhere, we're going on vacation. This is the backpack that I originally had when we first got Larcy for all of her stuff when I would take her on walks or we'd go somewhere for a couple hours. But I had to get a new one because these are starting to tear off. So then I upgraded to this backpack, which I really, really love. There's so many different compartments to it and it's very durable. So I just clip on one of their to go bowls on the side and one of the zippers and then inside here I always have a bag of treats for them and then of course I always have poop bags on hand and then there's these two pockets on the side which are really nice to put in some bottles of water there's also a hook right here if you need to charge your phone wear it as a backpack or you can just carry it as a bag I always have my secret weapons and that is Larcy's favorite balls and the reason why I have the balls in there is because if god forbid she ever got got loose or got out of her harness, I know that she would come back if I started squeaking her ball. I have a treat pouch, which is really great whenever we are doing training, whenever we go to school, or even just if we're going for walks and I don't want to have the backpack. This is really great if it's my keys, my phone, everything in this big pocket, and then I can have their poop bags and treats right inside of here. Again, I always have one of these to-go water bowls attached to literally everything on a zipper. You can either put it around your shoulder or you can clip it on around your waist, which is what I usually do. So it's like a little fanny. There's a clip if you want to just clip it onto your pants and then there's a little secret pocket in the back and I have another to-go water bowl. I have three of these. I don't know how I ended up with so many and then I have this home vet bag. I just got it after I took that pet first aid and CPR class. I wanted to try to find a bag that had absolutely everything that I would ever possibly need inside of it and this was the best bag that I could find. The little manual that tells you exactly what you need to know, what you should know. It goes over CPR, abscess, birthing difficulties, choking, diarrhea, ear issues, eye injuries, swelling, heat stroke, if they collapse, if they have hypothermia, nosebleeds, limping, seizures, trauma, snake bites, vomiting, wounds. This thing is amazing. I think this is $75. For a peace of mind, this home vet bag is so freaking worth it. And then I also have a big car canopy 
for my whole back seat, which has become a huge lifesaver for not only preserving my back seat, but also keeping down the hair. There's little seat belts that come with it, so that way you can clip them in whenever you are going for rides. Next category, we have medications. Please consult your vet before you give your dogs any of this. This is just what we have been prescribed from our vet for our dogs. Our girls take Sempirca Trio. This is heartworm, flea, and tick medication all in one. They take this every four weeks. I have this bonine that I use for Koba because she gets car sick. I have some Endosorb tabs from whenever we are dealing with Larcy having some diarrhea. And we have some Trazodone tablets from whenever Larcy got spayed to keep her calm and not crazy. Animex ointment that we used for her carpal pads because they got super, super just raw and red and swollen and maybe infected. I don't know, but they just looked horrible from her sliding across the carpet so much she had like a rug burn and then we also have this quadruple topical ointment that we used for her for hot spots all right next category we're going to go on to clothing first thing larcy's rain jacket i think this is just the cutest thing ever we also had these hats made for matching outfits for my husband and i from a photo shoot last year that we did with larcy this is her crown from her first birthday this is a bow that we did with some newborn photo shoots with Kobe. These are some matching scrunchies that I have that match outfits that they have. And then I have three pairs of socks that have Larcy's face on them. I have two masks that have Larcy's face on them. This is Larcy's first Halloween costume. She was a little bumblebee because I always call her my little honeybee. And then we have a ton of bandanas. And I love daddy bandana that we got last year for Father's Day. Big sister, little sister bandanas that we had made for them whenever we first got Koba. They are both reversible with little bows. These are so freaking cute. This is also another reversible bandana that I had made. These were their Easter bandanas from this year that match. These were their matching Valentine's Day bandanas from this year. And every time they go to the groomer, they get a free bandana. So this is one that they got around Valentine's Day. These are some spring ones. And summer and Easter. More Easter. This just says lifewithlarcy.com. That's her little website. This was from Larcy's first birthday. So it just says birthday girl on it. And the rest are honestly just because. So I have this cute rainbow one, yellow one, which I think looks so good on the girls. This really cute pink stars one. This super freaking cute birthday one. I'm gonna save this for their birthdays. This little like rusty mauve colored one. We have black, blue one with stars. We have this one, which she has like a whole matching set for. And then these are all over the collar bandanas. So we have that. This which we used in a photo shoot where her and I matched. Rainbows. Rainbows. This is from our anniversary photo shoot if you guys remember from it last year. Really simple black and white. Rainbow. And this is one that matches one of the scrunchies that I had made. Additional to that, we have the sad little outfits that are now too small, but this was Larcy's first Christmas outfit. This was her daddy's birthday. Another Christmas outfit where she was Mrs. Claus. Her first little sweater, and then another little sweater. So yeah, they have a lot of clothing. So next we're going to do all of their walking stuff. So their harnesses, their leashes, their shoes, anything along those lines. This is Larcy's most used current harness and matching leash. And then this is Koba's current most used harness and leash. These are all from Wild One. For size reference, they are both on the smaller side, so they're both wearing mediums. Then I have this inflatable collar that we got whenever Larcy was spayed. And then whenever she messed up her carpal pads, we had to buy her an actual cone. So we had to buy her this little satellite dish, which she looked super cute. In. Her collar is still attached to that. Then this is Koba's first harness, which is so sad. This was Larcy's first harness. 
which looks so tiny. And this is her second one. This is an easy walk harness. This is what we use with Larcy whenever we take her walking. If your dog pulls, easy walk is the best thing that I have ever done. Then we have a tandem leash that we got from Canine Coacher. It's a small business in Michigan. So basically it's two dogs on one leash and I have rose gold petals and obviously this is a pretty pink color so you could walk both of the girls together and they have to basically stay together. I don't use this too much on them yet just because they're two different in sizes and Larcy basically just pulls Koba around everywhere. Then we have this bright pink harness that we got from Amazon. This is so comfy and so cushioned. This is Koba's collar and this is Larcy's collar with all of her tags. And they have little rain boots, free cheapo random leash that we got from I don't even know where. Someone gave it to us at some point. Then the friendship collar actually sent us these matching ones. So this one is Larcy's, this is Koba's, and this is mine. So I have a little bracelet that matches their collars, which is really, really cute. This is another one of their collars and then this is a big dog leash. I like that there's a handle right here but it's just a very heavy leash. And this is the rest of that matching set for that bandana that I mentioned that is all carnival related. If you didn't know my husband and I met at a county fair so whenever I saw this I literally had to get the entire set. This is from Woof and Wonder. Then this is the collar that came with it. This is the leash and then this is the matching poop bag. How freaking cute is that? And and this is the poop bag carrier that came with Larcy's walking kit from Wild One. Okay, so moving on to food, food bowls, food storage, everything along those lines. I do have this cute little mat that I use for underneath their bowls. This is Larcy's original food and water dish. And this was her original slow feeder bowl because she started eating like a vacuum. So this is basically what we use whenever we are traveling or if we are going on a hike. We will take this with us along with all the to-go water dishes that I showed you that we have. They can drink out of that and then they can eat their meals out of this. And then this is what we have for at home. They each have one, it's the exact same thing but it is a lot bigger. You can take the water dish out and you can take the slow feeders out which is really really nice because whenever we first got Koba and her snout was really short her snout could not fit into these deep grooves yet so we just left this out and she ate right off of the mat so she was able to kind of grow into it and also whenever you're traveling storage wise makes it super easy. So I have one and like I said two of those and then for their food storage we have one of these big vaults. This is what we use for Larcy's food right now. We don't have a second vault for Koba's. We just get hers right out of the bag just because I know that whenever she gets a little bit older they're gonna end up eating the same food anyways. There's no sense in having two vaults and wherever we keep them right here there's just not enough room for two of them. So this is just really nice to keep everything fresh and the girls come running. Both of the girls eat Royal Cannon for Golden Retrievers. Larcy eats the adult version and Koba eats the puppy version. We have, I think, at least two of each of their bags down in the basement. So I am down in the basement now, but this is a box of two bags of Koba's food and then that is a box each of Larcy's food. So we have two extra boxes for each of them. This is another bag of Koba's food. Also for their food, I have this bag of Chippin Silver Carp. I don't feed them purely this, but I always take a handful and put some of the little pieces inside of their food bowl. This is actual straight up dog food, but I just use it as a mixer versus like their actual real straight up food. Next we're gonna go on to custom pieces that we have made for them or just stuff that people have sent us. We have this super cute portrait of Larcy. I have this little chalkboard sign from Larcy's first birthday. This is a pillow that we had sent to us of a drawing of Larcy. Big beautiful portrait of the big baby girl in the back there. We had this book made from Yappy. This is actually one of our Christmas presents, but it says, Where's Larcy? So you can customize it. And then there's all these different scenarios. It's like a Where's Waldo book. We had this custom phone case sent to us of Larcy that we got to design. We had these two canvases that the girls painted. This was part of their Easter presents. If you guys didn't watch that video, you can see their little star moment where they did these paintings. We bought this Game of Life just because it's about the dog park. Got this Golden Monopoly game just because it's about Golden retrievers. <laughs> 
I love board games, so definitely down for that. Next, we're gonna go over IDs and tags. So I'm not going to show you this stuff too up close and personal, just because I don't wanna give away our personal information. Larcy has her home again tag, which is her microchip. Koba's not microchipped yet, so she doesn't have one yet, but this is basically if she were to ever get lost, this is how we can keep track of her. Then they have just their regular name tag, and then Koba has the exact same one that just says our personal contact information on the back. They have their county tags so that they are licensed in our county for our state. Their rabies tags. Also their animal ID tags which is like another way of tracking them with a QR code. If they were to be found someone just scans a QR code with her phone and we're able to find their location that way. This is another thing that we had made from Etsy just with all of our names on it but it's nice to have the urine flashlight, the poop bags, the leash, the harnesses, everything all in one place. This is also something that was custom made that was sent to us this is a blanket of Larcy. We just got to pick out the color for the background and obviously I picked pink. Next we'll talk about training. Like I mentioned this little treat bag is perfect whenever you are training them to have the treats nice and handy. So neither one of our girls were super bad at like biting or chewing on things that they weren't supposed to but the bitter apple spray is a great deterrent to get them to stop chewing on things because once they try to chew on it again then it's not going to taste very good so hopefully the idea is that they will stop. Then we also have the smart bell from Mighty Paw. So this is just a little doorbell that they push. It makes a little doorbell sound. Whenever they do that, this receiver will light up. And basically we wanted to train them this way so that way we can hear it anywhere in the house. Whenever they have to go potty, they know that they have to push this bell. So whenever it's pushed, it lights up over here at the receiver and we can hear it anywhere throughout the house. This is clearly where we take them in and out at. So we have the boot tray here so that we can keep the floor nice and clean, whether we're going out in summery shoes or it's muddy and yucky out, we have boots. And then we have this runner that they always have to come in and sit on whenever they come in from going outside and then they have to get their paws cleaned off. All right, now we are on to toys. This is the toy box that I bought for the girls off of Amazon. There's actually Actually, two fabric drawers that are supposed to go in the bottom, but Larcy started chewing on them, so we ended up taking them out and just leaving it open and just shoving stuff in the little cubby holes, which still works just fine. This is what the bins look like. She destroyed the other one, but this one still looks fine. It is pretty full, as you can see, but that's only some of their toys. A lot of their toys are retired or in need of fixing. So we're gonna start with the retired toys first. So we have Larcy's first Christmas bear reindeer thing. This popcorn they like to pull on the top. Hedgehog, Koba loves, but she is clearly ripping it apart. This toy, they love to rip off the sides. This caterpillar they love because there's a million squeakers in, but I've literally fixed it so many times. Nyla bones they love, but I've thrown so many of these away because as you can see, they can like really destroy them. This was Larcy's first ball, which again, you can see she destroys it. Old Nyla bones that they had as little babies. This lobster that they love to just chew on all these little pieces. The other Nyla bone from when they were babies. And then I don't let them have rope toys, so they don't play with any of these. Moving on to toys that need surgery. This big snake with a ton of squeakers in it. The beloved Ferris wheel that they love, and we see these little red stuff everywhere that's super fun. Larcy loves to shove her head in that big hole and wear it around like a necklace. We got a slipper, Easter bunny, bumper cars, corn dog, big lammy, big candy cane, cotton candy, this football that they love to tear pieces off of, this little elephant that was one of Koba's first toys, this beaver thing, little lammy, big ice cream cone, and this little bunny. Okay now on to the toy box. These are some toys that need to be washed because there are blood stains on them from when Koba was losing her teeth. So we have a little star, mushroom, little chick thing. This is disgusting, but it's a rainbow and this orange. And as I'm sure you can imagine, we have gone through and thrown away so many toys. This is Gary, a Kong treat dispenser that Koba's obsessed with. You put treats in it, it rolls around. Sweet potato playology ball, bacon playology ball, ball that makes noise every time you touch it. Ball that's supposed to look like a bath bomb. Larcy's snuggle puppy. Koba's 
Koba snuggle puppy. Frisbee, funny that Koba is like eating all the fur off of the tail. This little unicorn thing, also one of Koba's first toys. Playology peanut butter bone with a squeaker in it. This is a roller coaster, soccer ball. Pizza, this is Larcy's first toy. Chain hearts, bacon hurts ball. Wild one ball, popsicle. Candy corn, fries. Playology peanut butter plush toy. Playology peanut butter bone. This little rat's tail thing. I think the battery is dead, but it usually like bounces around and jumps and they love to jump out after this. Turkey playology ball. Cheddar cheese playology ball. Random ball. Bath bomb ball. This little thing, I'm not really sure what it is, with a bunch of squeakers in it. This little monkey thing. This thing. This is a pork sausage playology stick. Playology beef ball. Christmas tree. Luma bone ball. Hertz bacon bone. Watermelon. They hate this toy. It's like mashed potatoes, gravy or something, but they literally hate this because it's so heavy. Wild one ball. Crinkle Kong bone. Pretty sure this is a scented Nyla bone, but I don't remember what it is. I think it's bacon. Kong stick. Bath bomb ball. Luma bone ball. Hertz bacon ball. Wild one ball. This is a Zippy Paws burrow toy. You put like the little animal things on the inside and they gotta dig them out. Easter egg bunny thing. I hate this ball. So you're supposed to put treats in it. Hot dog. Rainbow bone. Spider. Snow cone. I thought this was a seahorse but I'm pretty sure it's a snake. Big donut. Banana. Pink bone. Peep. Kong ball. Kong ball. This is a tree branch that smells like cocoa butter for some reason. I don't know why. Another banana. Candy cane. Big Kong binky. Pretzel. Big piggy. Playology peanut butter stick. Lollipop. Playology peanut butter tire. Baby bottle. Random ball. Lime. This is a little lamb that goes inside that burrow toy. Little Kong binky. Well, it's a medium size. Random pink bone. Chuck it ball. This is Larcy's first ball that we gave her. Pink peep. Speed pig. <laughs> Ice cream cone, pink bone, little donut, Kong ball, biology pebble. I think this is pork sausage. Wild one ball. Pink frisbee. Peanut butter playology ball. Chicken playology ball. Pink slipper that needs surgery. The original peanut butter playology ball and peanut butter playology stick. We clearly love playology. There's also an orange peep just found it underneath the couch. Here are some more Nyla bones. Next we're gonna go into crates. So we own three crates currently. This is a top paw crate. It's the 42 inch size. This is currently Larcy crate and then this crate was originally Larcy's crate but it is now Koba's crate. This is a Midwest crate also 42 inch size. They both come with dividers. They're both double doors so we can open them on the ends and we can also open them on the sides. So her other door is here, 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 and here. And then we also have a little travel crate that we used when both of them were like baby babies. And this is our little carrier crate which you can tell is very tiny now compared to them but when we first got them as puppies it was nice to have it. These are the two dividers that go to each other crates. And then for holidays, they have their own stockings. They have their own ornaments. I have these keychains and the ornaments look exactly the same as this. They just say their names on it. There's a paw print and there's also ones with a bone. They just say Larcy and Koba J on them. They have this little Happy New Year headband thing. They have one for Christmas. They have three different bunny ears for Easter. They have their Easter eggs. They have these little Easter toys that are peeps that I forgot to show. Koba already um, destroyed one of them. Then these are their Easter baskets. And then lastly, we'll just have like the other etc. category because I have some things that just don't really fit into any of the categories. We have this tie out that we never really use and it's kind of worthless because Larcy just literally rips this out of the ground. So if I ever use this, I have to literally tie it around a tree. The girls also have a pool, two beds. This is the pup show bed that we did a review on and then they also have another gray bed that is currently being washed so I will just insert a picture of it and they also have this camera that I use to watch the girls so I just will basically put it on the edge of the bed so it's facing both of their crates and then I have an app on my phone where I can go in and talk to them and check it at any time. This was Larcy's original toy box that she clearly grew out of very quickly. These are the random letters for the it's a girl banner Larcy banner this is the box that we use to reveal both of them. Some Easter eggs. I have this that I use to make transfers of their paw prints. This is a mold of Larcy's paw print from when she was a baby that I still have yet to write on. We have this gate that we use to keep the girls out of certain areas of the house. There's a little door on it. I have this little handy dandy sewing kit that I got from Amazon that I use to do surgery on their toys that need to be fixed. These coasters and bottles that Lim 
Bone sent us. I have this for removing hair. We also have these bubbles that we like to blow for the girls. And that, I think, is everything. I probably missed something somewhere along the way, but you guys get the gist of it. That is an updated haul of everything that my girls have, everything that we have gotten for our two golden retrievers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know it was really long. They have a ton of stuff. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and make sure to follow them both on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys! Oh! <laughs>